Aero Brussels. Friends, thank you very much for being here, for showing your support to Julian Assange and uh, your solidarity with him. To the question or the call earlier on for all journalists to speak up, I am here on behalf of hundreds of thousands of journalists across the globe to say that we support the immediate and unconditional release of Julian Assange. Now, his case is a tragedy, a tragedy for him and for his family. For all these years he's been away, first holed up in a, an embassy in London and uh, now in a prison cell away from his loved ones. But it is much more for what he's being accused of and for which he's being sought in the US if indeed that proceeds, it will have a chilling effect on journalism as a whole. Friend, journalism, of course, is about reporting on, on issues of public interest. But it depends on the ability of journalists to receive information from their sources, who need to be reassured and protected from arbitrary appraisals for having shared that information in the public interest. And Julian Assange's case is no exception. In fact, I would like to quote the leader of our affiliate in the UK and Ireland, uh, Michel Stone Street, who said that, uh, the quote, Julian Assange is prosecuted for actions that are commonplace for journalists the world over. End of quote. Now, there is no shred of evidence that the revelations by Wikileaks have put anybody in harm's way or have compromised any country's national security. Now, I know we here and, and elsewhere, we may feel it is too late. It is five to midnight. But I think there is hope. And I want to be a journalist here and apply the fairness I deal with governments all over the world every single day. And I'm here to tell you that we are, we are having to deal with two great democracies, the UK and the US, which, apart from the occasional partisan political skardagri, have been actually in the corner for press freedom. And I want to urge them to look very carefully are the consequences that any extradition or Julian Assange may have. Because tomorrow, they may have no moral ground to criticize other governments less democratic when they intimidate, when they harass, and when they jail journalists for politically motivated charges. And so, I want to tell you not to give up. There is still a wind of opportunity. We still can win. We still can get Julian Sanj free and back to his family and his colleagues. Thank you very much.